Howdy folks. How we doing? Um, I'm having a great day. It is Saturday. Um, just have a lot of time today to really uh, do some errands around the house and uh, really do some things that I want to do slash stream. So I'm happy to be here. Thanks for being here with me today. We are continuing our Pokemon Crystal journey. Um, so last time we spoke, we defeated Brock. And since we've been in Kanto, we have now defeated Brock, Misty, and Lieutenant Surge. And we got our Silver Wing from this fella over here. And I must point out my shirt for today. Got my Lugia shirt. I freaking love this. Just showing it off a couple angles. There you go. For the people. <laughs> but I love this shirt. And I haven't worn it on stream yet, which is perfect for a Gen 2 Pokemon stream. So we are actually going to head over this way. Um, and in Generation 1, this is a real early route um, once you defeat Brock. But here it's a little bit different, of course. Um, there's not a ton noise. What up, Tech? Um, there's not a ton of experience here in... Kanto, so we are probably going to end up fighting most of the trainers that we run into, or that fighting most of the trainers that we can, because there is a there is a big bad boss fight at the very end of this game that we are going to need all the experience we can get, um, and of course my Generation Two veterans already know what I'm talking about, but. I'll pretend to keep it a surprise. <laughs> if you haven't watched any of the other streams, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times. Um, but um, how's everybody's day going? If you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, comment how your day is. I'm I'm curious. Let's see. Uh, Arbok, perfect for Rupert Grunt in this big, beautiful earthquake. Um, I could probably give... I think I have another PowerPoint up I can probably give to Earthquake. Ba -ba -da 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 um, my wife kind of give you a little indicator of what she's been up to and kind of why I'm on my own today. Um, you just woke up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, she helps with a high school theater company. And she's done this for the past couple years um, after her job at the school that she works in. She goes to this other school and helps with their drama club. Um, but she's been doing that for a couple years, and this is the last show that they are doing. Oh, yes. Okay, so here we have Rupert Grunt trying to learn Reversal. Reversal is a very interesting move. It's a fighting type move that does more damage the lower HP that you the lower HP that you have. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of counter. Both could be very useful. I was really going back and forth on which one to keep. Um, but we'll get rid of counter here. Um, let's see. I will just stay in. This guy's just got some lower level Magmars we can wipe out with our Earthquakes. Um, rock Smash! Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes my chat comes in a little late. Um, I don't know, I, I like the defense drop nature of Rock Smash. I know it's not that powerful of an attack. Um, but let's see... Oh yes, as I was saying, my wife she has her last show this weekend, and I actually saw the show last night. They did a very nice job. Um, she actually helped choreograph as well as um, direct. So, just a jack of all trades is my my beautiful Bell Sprout wife. Um, but yeah. So she's doing that. That's why I have a lot of free time. Ooh, nice flinch, because we don't want to catch a self-destruct. Um, I'm going to keep... 
Oh, the play. Um, they are doing SpongeBob the Musical um, at the high school. And it's very, very fun. And it's really nice because there are a lot of kids that are just kind of finishing up their senior year when, from when my wife started. Um, now, guys, I believe we're going to have a special little fight here. So I'm going to save. Once you walk into Mount Moon in this game... There he is. There's PP, our friend. It's been a while, SEG. Since I lost to you, I thought about what, it, what I was lacking with my Pokemon, and we came up with an answer. SEG, now we'll show you. This is awesome. Because this shows a lot of good. As you can see, when we encounter our rival in Kanto, he's got a new pose. He's a new man. It's really cool. Um, he's still got his Sneasel, of course. Um, but, okay. Is fine. Okay, Fury Cutter. That's not going to do much. Um, but um, you were asking about SpongeBob. A lot of the kids that she started with are now graduating, so it was like a good one to end on for her. PP the Reborn. That's right. He's a new man. Um, so, and one of the greatest bits of character development that you'll see later. Um, you actually don't see it here, I thought you did, um, is when you fight him later, he will have a Crobat. And, of course, Crobats evolve via friendship, so it finally shows you that he started caring for his Pokémon. Really, really nice detail. Um, so here, this is actually the last kind of proper set fight that you'll have with your rival in this game. Um, you can fight him, I don't remember what days, what days of the week, but if you re-challenge the Pokemon League, um, a couple of days of the week, your rival will actually challenge you right before um, you do it. And those are like, uh, those, those are fights that you don't have to encounter. This fight even is optional, you don't have to fight him here. But he will always be here um, when you get to Kanto, which is really cool. Um, Magneton. This is why it's perfect to get that Earthquake, because Magneton is four times weak to ground moves in this game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, tonight is the last night of her play, and tomorrow's gonna be a lot of the same for me. Uh, if they're going... Monday and Wednesday, says Tech. So if you fight the Pokemon League on Monday and Wednesday, your rival will challenge you there. Um, I lost my train of thought here. Oh, Gengar, we'll stay in, actually. Um, cause Earthquake is gonna be good against Gengar also. Yeah, I was really agonizing over which Pokemon to teach Earthquake to. Because as you can see, it's just a complete, just wrecker of most things. Um, Alakazam, great. Um, this will be good for Tech. And this is kind of another bit of character development, because the last time you fight him before the Pokemon League, he still has a Kadabra and a Haunter. And I guess a fun little bit... Oh wow, that did a lot more than I thought. A fun little bit of headcanon would be, like, he finally found friends to trade with so he could evolve those Pokemon. That's kind of fun. Um, okay, so he... Oop, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> really meant, meant to go out to a different Pokemon. Sorry, buddy! Ah, I'll use my famous Lucius Psychic Killing combo to avenge Tech. Sorry, Tech. I misclicked there. Uh, all right, for alligator. We'll go starter on starter here. Yeah! It's clobbering time! Says for alligator. But, oh wow, this is actually a fun little matchup. I don't know if his for alligator knows surf or not yet. What up, dogleg? How's it going? Happy Saturday. Um, doesn't know surf yet? Ooh! 
smooth paralysis and fully paralyzed. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tech. Um, yeah, so uh, Typhlosion won the Battle of the Starters there. And then we defeat PP once again. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be the best they could be, but it still wasn't enough. Hmm, interesting. You won, fair and square, I admit it, but this isn't the end. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever, because these guys are behind me. Listen, SCG, one of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. Awesome, awesome, ca awesome character development. Love to see it. Um, so here we are in Mount Moon. We have a new mysterious theme for it. It's a little slower than in Gen 1. Um, <laughs> my chat is like a full minute, minute off. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Sinaiquil, you beast! Thanks, Mom! Um, Alright. So here, as you can see, there is not much to Mount Moon here in this gen. They really kind of... I don't want to say neutered it. Oh. I love this music. I've like never heard this before. Um, anyway. So if you come here at night, there could be some Clefairy dancing around. Um, I don't even remember what these guys sell. Oh, they just sell fresh water and stuff. How, how lovely. Um, I'm actually going to buy some. I'm going to buy some sodies. I'm going to buy ten sodies. Um, <laughs> you can say they neutered it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were just really limited by what they had. And as you can see, that's all of Mount Moon in this game. So, again, not much going on there. Um, but they do have that little cutscene where at night you can fight some Clefairy, which is neat. I like that. Um, da, 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 da. And just like in Generation 1, it, when we make our way over to the east here, we will run into Cerulean City. Oh, thanks, Mom. You found a useful item shopping. I might have a few items in my PC that are useful for Mom. Oh, this guy is weird. I think he has like a level 12 Pidgey. Yes. Yes, his Pidgey is so weak. Why? Why? Um, and then, see that just destroyed it. But then he has, I think, like a more regular level Pidgeot. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, level 34. I love Pidgeot's Majestic Mane in this game. I think I pointed that out already, but it's just great. <laughs> I know, dude. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, with leftovers, we are fine. And Pidgeot doesn't really have many moves that hit very hard at this, at this point in time. <laughs> All right. So, I think this woman here is going to be our only other trainer that we've got. Um, I... <laughs> She's tongue-tied. She's starstruck seeing the champion. <laughs> you killed my son. Prepare to die. It's so true. Um, we're just rocking the headbutts on Margo. Not a ton going on here. Ooh, rapid. Uh, this could get annoying. Don't crit. Don't. There we go. I almost said critical hit. Don't flinch me, please. All right, Pitnik or Sharon. Oh, and now she has nothing else to say. What does she say when you talk to her? I'll go train some more. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't feel down on yourself. Ah, an HP up. An HP up. Um, I believe, hold on, who has the lowest HP right now? That would be Tech. Yeah, some of the single stage Pokemon don't have the highest stats in the world. That's why a lot of them get, um, oh, nice. A lot of them get 
evolutions in later games. So, as you can see, we are back here in Celadon City. Not Celadon City, Cerulean City, my bad. Um, we are going to go to Celadon City. Um, because I really want to kind of unlock some of these routes and get into some of the gym leader fights that we're going to have. And I also thought it would be fun because once you get into Kanto, um, you can take on the gym leaders in any order you want. Because um, as you saw, obviously we fought Surge first, then Misty, then Brock. Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to fight the Grass Gym here. And I'm going to deposit, I'm going to deposit Rupert. Um, because a lot of our other Pokemon are going to be really useful against Grass types. And the reason I need to deposit a Pokemon is because to get into the, um, Celadon City Gym, we are going to need... Cut, as you can see right there. Um, are we, is there a hidden item over here? Have I gotten this? Yes, a power point up. Oh, I was just saying how I have an extra one of those. Perfect. Is there one down here? There is not. I always think there might be, but there's only one. Uh, I love how my wife stays in the game. She's our certified cutter. Oh, I think I made a comment about this guy in Generation 1 about how he's sexist. Now he says, me he he, this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. Uh, well. <laughs> they don't change it yet. He's still being pervy. <laughs> He's still being pervy three years later. <laughs> wow. What a guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, awesome tech. Awesome. Have a good day, dude. Thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate that. Um, all right, so... Erica's gym is a little bit different in this game. It's gonna be mostly the same. Um, we just got some trainers going on. I really genuinely love all of the uh, Kanto themes that they have. The regular battle theme, the wild battle theme, the freaking gym leader battle theme is in... Freak incredible. So good. And I believe these two gals just have a straight up victory bell and vile plume. That is correct. And you know, I think one of the philosophies that they have with these trainers in Kanto is that they don't really want them to be stronger than the Elite Four. And the Elite Four's level kind of caps out under 40. But I feel like, you know. Like, I get that that's like a canonical thing they maybe want to stick to, but I mean, come on, man. They can be a little higher. Do, 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 do. Oh, a battle. That's kind of scary, but okay. Um, she's just trying to hustle me. She's trying to think that she's not a stone-cold killer by pretending she's scared. Love the flinch. Get another. You know, it's very interesting. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Egg Bomb is like an ex ex Executor exclusive attack, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, Chansey learns it. Um, but it actually makes a lot of sense for Egg Bomb to be a grass move, maybe. Because Executor, like, canonically, I think, is technically like seeds, not necessarily eggs. Um... And that's why it's a grass type. At least that's what they say. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think for that reason, Egg Bomb should be a, uh, a grass move. And that is the end of my TED Talk. Oh, interesting. So you switch out one Pokemon that's going to be annihilated in favor of another Pokemon that's going to be annihilated. Yeah, here, Skip Plume, Hoppip, and Jumpluff are all grass flying. So my Ice Beam is just going to completely destroy them, um, as you can see. Ooh, it's faster. Yeah, Jump Bluff is great because it's so fast. Um, I think it's a really cute, cool Pokemon. I think I mentioned in an earlier stream that uh, if 
uh, we did another playthrough, I would I would maybe rock a hop hip. Um, that'll be when we play Heart Gold or Soul Silver. I'll have a hop hip and I will have a Mareep. I'm already planning the next team. Um, but yeah, it'll probably be a while till we get there. Um, were you looking at these flowers or at me? <laughs> wow. How cheeky, Miss Beauty Julia. Alright. And again, we actually, I didn't realize it when I was building this team, but we actually have a really good squad to take on Erica, because we've got ice moves with Pampras, we've got fire moves with uh, Sinaiquil, we've got flying moves with um, Tech. Um, we've even got psychic moves for the grass poison types. So we are just locked and loaded to annihilate Erica, and I think that's what you're gonna see. <laughs> Alright. So we are here at Erica. Let me. I'm gonna start with tech. Oops. That didn't do anything. Alright. So I'll pop a save here because I have anxiety. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. And we're about to get the fire track. You know... It is kind of a shame. I love her little sprite. I love her green kimono there with the little Pokeball. Just very stately. Um, very uh, elegant. So she got Tangela. Tangela is kind of known as like a bulky Pokemon. Um, oh, but what I was saying, it's kind of a shame um, that the Kanto gyms aren't more challenging like on the whole. Um, Ooh, just because the fight music is so epic and awesome. Um, and again, they want to kind of keep them more on par with the Elite Four. Uh, but of course, they have less Pokemon. You can fight them, you know, one at a time. A lot of um, examples why they're not as strong as the Elite Four. Uh, but the move we just saw, we just saw Giga Drain. Um, I'm going to let Lucius take out the Victory Bell. Um, Giga Drain is interesting because in Generation 1, there was only Mega Drain, and it did like 40 power, which isn't very strong, but it healed you, which was a really strong effect. And Giga Drain does the same thing, except it is 60 power, which like, 60 base power and it heals you is really, really strong. Um, and one way that they balance it in this game, and I'm going to use the same ice beam, ice beam strategy that we did against the gym trainer. Um, but one of the ways they balance Giga Drain is that they only give it five power points because um, it can just really swing a battle a lot. Um, so for Bell Awesome, who's going to do the honors here? We'll let Sonyquil do the honors as our starter here. Oh, Bell Awesome's so cute. Even though it's like uh, true height is like this big. It's like the smallest Pokemon ever, even though it's really powerful. At least in this game. This might kill it. Hmm. Not quite. It'll get us with that powerful pedal dance. But of course, against our Typhlosion. It is no match. We'll just fire punch her again, and that'll be it. Again. Ah, trying to learn Swift. Uh, you know, Swift is not really a move we're gonna need for Typhlosion, and honestly, we have a Swift TM if we ever want to teach it to him. Um, let's see. Ba 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 da ba da. So, that was a delightful match. I felt inspired, please. I wish you to have this TM. Ah, and this is actually interesting. Not all Kanto gym leaders give you a TM, but Erica is one. 
please use it if it pleases you. Awesome. Um, I think only two Kanto Gym Leaders give you a TM in this game. Um, oh, knowing they're a strong trainer spurs me to do better. How about that? Love that. I feel like um, it very well could be my Nostalgia Blinders, which are heavy. Um, but I feel like a lot of the gym trainers in this game, um, the gym leaders rather, they have really nice kind of like poignant um, things to say after you beat them. Like specifically, I really like Mortys and Prices. Um, and like we talked about Karen as well when you defeat her in the Elite Four. Um, all right. So that was our fourth Kanto Gym Badge. Um, so we, now we just need five, six, seven, and eight. Um, ooh, actually, I'm going to deposit my wife, but I'm going to pop up here. Because if you recall, there used to be a Snorlax here in Gen 1. But in Gen 2, obviously, that is not there anymore. This is where you find the Fly HM in Generation 1. Um, ah, but that guy just tells you if you go down Cycling Road, you'll end up in Fuchsia City. How useless. All right. Um, but over here, we will pop my wife back into the PC. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to look to see what our mom bought us. We do have a lot of good items in here. Oh, yeah. Grab a super potion. Grab a hyper potion. I'd love to see it. Um, and we'll grab those items if we ever need them. So we're going to deposit my wife as stated, and we will withdraw our girl. Oh, not our girl, our special boy, <laughs> Heracross. All right, so here, what we can do is we can make our way to Fuchsia City. And Fuchsia City, you get there the same way you do in Generation 1, Cycling Road, just like that guy said. And you can go down different paths here. Um, oh wow, there are no trainers on this east side. Wow, there's a guy right here though. Um, one thing that's annoying is that whenever you're going laterally or uphill, you're going way slower and you go way faster when you're going downhill on cycling road. Okay, good, love to see the one shot there because a fire punch would hurt our girl tech a lot. Um, we'll let Rupert come in and knock out this Magmar like last time. Yeah, and a lot of what we're doing here is we're just kind of clearing out some routes, um, grabbing all the experience and money that is available to us right now um, as we make our way through Kanto. As you can see, I'm just... Boom, 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 just bumping against the side because it wants me to go downhill. Um, so this... And it automatically takes you downhill, like I'm not pressing anything. Um, Alright, so... We are going to... Kind of just power our way through all of these... Oh, boy. This is fine, though, because Tech's got really high defense. Resist that. We're eating that all day long, baby. Um, but... We're speeding our way through here. Um, in Generation 1, there are a lot more trainers on this route. Because, um, you know, you've heard me say it a million times at this point. Um, as we make our way through here, you will find that this is not the same Kanto that we saw in um, Generation 1. Just because there's so much less to it. Um, and, again... That's just all the space they had on the cartridge back in the day. Because, again, um, I've been talking about the remake a lot. Um, we probably won't get there for a while, uh, but I'm really excited to play that for you guys because, again, we are playing Crystal. This is kind of like the definitive third version of Generation 2, and... So we're not playing gold or silver. And there are a few differences in gold and silver. The one I said a lot is Mareep. I want Mareep. Um, 
but uh, when we play the remix, either Heart Gold or Soul Silver, we will have kind of access to some of those gold and silver exclusive things um, that I've been talking about. Oh yeah, Lucius will be great to just wipe out the rest of these bikers here with their poison types. I think there might be one or two left on the route. I think, yeah, we fought that guy already. Yes. There we go. Yeah, in Generation 1, there's that whole group of uh, bikers right at the top. I think there's like like eight of them, which is crazy. I don't, I can't really think of any other times where there are just more trainers on like one single screen in any of like, at least the classic Pokemon games. Um, yeah, I don't really know. But our team is staying pretty caught up. I also hate how like, it just never evens out. Apparently the entire thing is just downhill and we're just like struggling to get out of here. There we go. So there we are. So this here obviously we're going to make our way into Fuchsia City. I say obviously if you've watched the yellow playthrough. Um, and these guys are bird keepers just like last time. And this is a great spot for Lapras to go ahead and catch up with the rest of the squad with our Ice Beam, baby. There we go. I'm gonna get off my bike. And I think there were three trainers here in Gen 1. Ah, yes. Doduo. You know, Dodrio is one of those Pokemon that is like way stronger than people remember or like give it credit for. Um, specifically in Generation 1, it is a freaking monster. It is so strong. Um, that Drill Peck is, is fearsome. There we go. We're just gonna Ice Beam this Dodo. And there you go. Alright. In Fuchsia City, we are. <laughs> um, so we're gonna pop over here to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal. Um... And again, Kanto goes pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna be able to... Oh, this Jenny has green hair. Do they all have green hair? Am I not noticing this? That's interesting. <laughs> um, but if we go over here, if you recall in the Gen 1 games, these... Uh, Fuchsia City has the Safari Zone, which is awesome. But in this game, the Safari Zone is like closed, um, which is kind of dumb. And again, another limitation. But again, we have the same format as we did in Gen 1 here. The invisible walls are there, as you can kind of see. But if you look, all of these trainers look the same. And this is one of the Kanto Gym Leaders that is not as they originally were. As you can see, she says, fooled you, ha ha ha. They all look like a little ninja. And obviously that we saw in our playthrough, Koga is now an Elite Four member. He lives up at the Pokemon League now, so he's not at the Fuchsia City Gym. So now uh, we gotta see who is gonna be at the Fuchsia City Gym. Um, who is gonna be the gym leader now? And those of you probably already know, but if you've never played this game before, I'll leave it a little surprise. It's kind of a neat, neat little thing. I also like this trainer because she has the exact same team as, a, as the trainer that's right outside Tojo Falls. She just has Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, um, which is really neat. ba ba da ba ba da 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 all right, so let's pop up here. And we're gonna fight all of these fake gym leaders because, again, I always really like to fight. Ooh, she just said, I'm Janine. Ooh, Janine. Is that the name of the new gym leader? We'll have to see. Um, she's got a Nido Queen. I think another one of these trainers has a Nido King. Um. Da -da 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 -da. 
But yeah, Lucius is going to be knocking these babies out all day long. Um, I'm pretty sure Lucius is going to get psychic at level... Ah, wah ha 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 you betcha, I'm Janine. Okay, so they're all disguised as this Janine character. Who is this Janine person? I guess we're going to find out. Um, so I'll just let Lucius kind of knock out a lot of these trainers here. Da 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 Alright. Um, cause that side beam foo 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 foo. <laughs> I'm Janine the gym leader. No I'm not! Gotcha, sucker! <laughs> wow, that was rude. Just as payment, I'm going to completely destroy you. If she has a lot of glooms, we'll probably go into either Typhlosion or Tech. Nope. We won't let Lucius have all the fun. Um, but I think as I was saying, you really get to knock these gym leaders like dominoes. Um, knock down these gym leaders like dominoes once you solve the power plant problem. Like... In Kanto, it's really just about solving that, catching Snorlax, and fighting the gym leaders. Those are really like the main things that you're gonna do. Um, all right, Lasalis, Lasalis, I had you fooled. No, you didn't. I know that the real Janine is the one in the bottom left. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and start with Lucius, but we're definitely gonna spread the fun around. I'll save because I have anxiety. And now, we will walk up to this final Janine and see what she says. Foo 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 foo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of Fuchsia Gym, that's me. Mm. So, we have Janine here. Ugh, oh, her little pose there is so cool. She is a ninja and she has a crowbat to begin, but as you can see, all the other gym leaders that we fought are in like the low to mid 40s. And like, why is her crowbat at level 36? And as you're gonna see, all of her Pokemon are in the kind of like mid to high 30s. And there is a reason for that. I actually don't remember, um, excuse me, I actually don't remember if she outright says it. Um, I think she might after the battle, so I'll save it. Again, Ariados. We're just at level 33 over here. Like, her levels are kind of more that of a random trainer that we're going to run into. I'll let Margo take this wheezing um, uh, over on our Kanto Rouse. She does have Toxic, and Janine is the other trainer, the other gym leader in Kanto that's going to give us a... A TM when you defeat them. She'll give us the Toxic TM, which could be really useful. We might teach it to Tech. Um, that could be useful later, but we'll see. She's about to use another Weezing. For this one, we'll go into Rupert. An Earthquake should do the trick here. Da, 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 da. And she's got a couple Weezing for whatever reason. But her team looks very familiar to someone that we know. And her ace, Venomoth, is very similar to the signature Pokemon of someone that we know. She used a dire hit. That was interesting. Um, and this fly will take it out. A nice critical hit for the decisive victory. So now that we have seen Janine, we've seen her team, we've seen her levels, what does she tell us? You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's Soul Badge. Take it. Okay, nothing quite yet. So then we get Soul Badge. And what does she say? You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic, a powerful poison that steadily saps the victim's HP. Yes, she is the second gym leader that gives us a TM. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both father and you. Janine 
is Koga's daughter, if you can believe it. That is why... Uh, oh, I'm poisoned. I forgot. That scared me. <laughs> Um, that is why her levels are all lower than Koga's. They wanted to have that, like, symmetry there. Um, even though it doesn't make for a very good battle, because our Pokemon's levels are all kind of, like, way above that. Um, really cool bit of symmetry there. Um, Koga lets his daughter take on the old family business. Um, I really like that. Um, so as you can see... Like, south of Lavender Town there, you have that whole little zigzag route. There are quite a few trainers on that route. Um, we can fight them at some point if we really think we need to get some more levels, which we might. But for today, I want to focus on fighting more gym leaders. And I think we need to get our sixth badge now that we've knocked Janine out, uh, out of the sky here. Oh, oh wait, no, not there. Um, this is cool. So this is the fighting dojo, and this is where you fight the Karate Master in Generation 1. But here, he says, Karate King, sorry, the Karate King, Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for training. And I think I've talked to you guys about that a little bit. Um, and here you'll find a focus band. Um, this is a cool item. But, uh, the Karate King is actually in Mount Mortar, and that is the cave that is right by, right between Mahogany Town and Ecruteak City. And that is something that we're gonna explore in a later stream. Um, at another time, we're really gonna dive into some of the like optional Johto stuff that you can get into. But for today, I really want to get into Sabrina's gym. And this focus band is cool. It may prevent fainting. So if your Pokemon is holding this, and it gets hit by a move that that would normally knock it out in one hit, the Focus Band can make it that it survives with one HP. Um, it doesn't have an infallible rate of success, but very useful. So we're going to kind of do this like we do in Generation 1. Um, I'm just going to go across, across, across until I get to Sabrina. And that, it works. <laughs> Um, that is the way I always do this puzzle. I never try to think about, like, doing it, like, properly or whatever. Um, we'll just stay in with Rupert. I'll let Rupert knock out some of these psychic types. Because even though that confusion is super effective, we're really going to have a lot of the old advantages with the low defense on the psychic types. And again, stop me if you've heard this before, there are fewer trainers in this gym than in Generation 1. Do, do, do. Psychic power is the power of your soul. Um, it's so interesting because I feel like when I will replay Generation 2 on my own, um, and it's interesting because Body Slam is not one of our same type attack bonus moves, but just when it comes to specifically the Abracadabra Alakazam line, you really want to attack that um, regular defense instead of special defense. Um, oh, but what I was saying, when I replay through this game, a lot of the time, you really just, like, buzz through Kanto. Um, because, again, there's not a ton to do. And, you know... People that are super pro Generation 2 will be like, what else could you want? There's a whole nother region to explore. And it's like, and you know, naysayers will be like, sure, there's another region, but there's really not that much to do there. It's more just like another area, which, you know, they're not wrong. Um, all right, Pampers, that's good. We're actually gonna save you a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -bad, doo -doo. We'll let Margo get some get some shine. Oh wait, no. <laughs> this lady might have ghost types if she does. Okay, good. Um, I think that's just in Generation One. They have the mediums that have ghost type Pokemon in here. Um, but Margo. Oh wait, no. Margo can hit ghost types now. She couldn't for the longest time because we only knew Rage and Headbutt. Um, but now that she knows Rollout, we can. And then I think she's got... Yeah, she's just got a slow bro. We'll stick with Margo. 
should be able to outspeed and flinch her. There we go. Love to see it. Oh, head button of our own. That leftovers is such a strong item. Um, it's it's already really come in handy on Margo already. All right. So now we're gonna pop over here. Yes, we fought all the trainers in this gym. Now I just go side to side <laughs> until I get to Sabrina. And we will get there eventually if I just keep going sideways. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now, against Sabrina, we'll start with Margo. She has one of the stronger teams here in Kanto. Um, but you'll see soon enough. We'll give her a try. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. And then we'll get this absolutely incredible track once again. I feel like we're getting spoiled just hearing it all the time. I love that. <sighs> Mysterious little Sabrina sprite there. She has an Espeon, which is very cool. That might be why they didn't give Will one, but I think that's kind of stupid, so. All right, so. We're just gonna do our tried and true headbutt strat. Now, a Psychic from an Espeon is actually gonna hurt a little bit, okay. But what's great here, I don't know how much this will do, not quite half. Um, that Leftovers is really gonna save us um, because otherwise this Psychic would definitely knock us out. It might still. We'll see. Nice, Margo! Alright. So that's great. But of course, we're still gonna swap out, because we don't want Margo to die. Um... Do -do -do, ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Honestly, a Psychic from an Espeon is gonna be like one of the stronger moves that you're going to encounter in Pokemon Crystal, truth, truthfully. Um, and Fly, not quite. All right, good. Tex, Tex still uh, resists that, so we can take out the Espeon, no problem. All right. Um, one good thing about Sabrina, she only has the three, the three Pokemon. Um, She's got her Mr. Mime here, and then, of course, she's got her Ace in the Hole, her handy-dandy Alakazam. Absolutely iconic Pokemon Alakazam, especially for Sabrina. Now, I'm going to see what Rupert can do. I don't know if this Earthquake is going to be able to knock it out. Not quite. Can we live? Oh, it's just going to use Barrier. That's fine. Um... Strength will finish. Oh, wait, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, good. Because um, Barrier raises its defense two stages. Now, of course, she has her Alakazam. And uh, our Espeon is at level 46 already, but I just gotta... I'm a sucker for the Shadow Ball Bite Strap. Because this Alakazam's not going to be able to kill us with its Psychics on an Espeon to resist them. Would you? I love that little sound effect that goes with Shadow Ball. Oh, I thought that was going to one-shot. That was going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, Lucius is going to eat this Psychic, and we're just... Oh, she's hyper-potioning. She's stalling. Um, stalling the inevitable, of course. Goodbye, Alakazam, and goodbye, Sabrina. Critical hit for good measure. Don't let the door hit you. Leader Sabrina was defeated. Your power it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Wow. Okay, you win. You earned yourself Marsh Badge. All right. So it draws out your subliminal powers, blah, blah, blah. Although I failed to accurately predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Thanks, Sabrina. So nice of you. And again, we will just go sideways until something happens. There we go. 
Um, so guys, just like that, we have 16 badges. I wish in this game, it doesn't show the Kanto badges. Um, it only shows the Johto badges. I wish it did. But as you can see there on the save screen, it says badges 14. Um, so we only have two more badges left to grab. Um, and to do that, she was able to get a few hits off on us. Um, to do that, we're actually going to fly to Pewter City. Um, and we're going to heal because our squad's hurting a little bit. Um, and we are going to make our way down south. But we are not going to do that until next stream. We're kind of winding down into our stopping point. Um, so next time we'll probably get into the final couple gym leaders. Um, the eighth gym leader, just so you know, is going to be different than it was in Generation 1. So that'll be really exciting. Um, I'm really excited to get toward the end of this game. There's really only maybe two, three more streams left that we'll do. Um, I mean, there might be more, who knows, but, um, I'm kind of guessing that's, that's where it'll be, and then we'll get into something new, but thank you all so much for being with me today, thank you all so much for being with me tomorrow, or whenever you watch it on YouTube, um, and again, I always appreciate sharing my favorite games with anyone who also loves them, or anyone who is interested in them. It brings me great joy. Have an amazing Saturday, an amazing weekend, and I will see you next time, kids.